Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MJ, and welcome back to Pathfinder Adventures, Rise of the Rune Lords. We are getting ready to start tutorial chapter number two, which is, I think, hand management, damage, and death. <laughs> Bury and banish action cards. Let's go ahead and give this a start. In this tutorial, you will learn to uh, learn about the bury and banish card actions and deeper combat interactions and hand management. We will also cover the basics of player damage and death, because, you know, it ultimately is going to happen. <laughs> and for me, probably many, many, many times. Here we go. All right. Let's start by explaining the hand size. Oh, I've got more. I've got new things down here. Uh, all characters have a hand size limit that is denoted by the number in the hand next to the character's portrait. Okay, for me, for Aerosol, it's five. Mauricio, it's five. So let's go ahead and continue. This is the number of cards the player must draw up or down to when they reset their hand at the beginning of their turn. If a character is unable to draw a card because they've run out, that character is unable to draw a card because they've run out, that character dies. If a character dies, they're unavailable for the rest of the scenario, but they can be used as normal in future scenarios. Yikes. If you turn on the permadeath setting, this character will instead be removed from the game permanently. We are not going to do that. <laughs> Let's start the search for the villain by having Mauricio explore her location. Sure. Oh, it's Goblin Warrior. You found a monster. Try revealing the short bow or discarding your blessing to increase your deck. You can use these cards by clicking them and choose the action you would like to take. So let's do the short bow reveal. And we're going to roll. Oh, jeez. An unlucky roll. Sometimes the dice just don't ha roll your way. When you fail to defeat a monster, your character takes damage equal to the difference between the difficulty of the monster and the hex result. Yikes, that hurt. For every point of damage a character takes, they are forced to discard one card from their hand. If the amount of damage is greater than the number of hands, uh, a damage is ignored. Some cards, like armors, can reduce the amount of damage uh, take uh, take it or neg negate it completely. Click the leather armor in Mauricio's hand to zoom in on the card so we can bury it. This will completely negate all the damage she just received. Burying a card completely removes it from play completely removes it from play. While it cannot be used again in the current scenario, the card will be available uh, in the character's desk in future scenarios. Okay, now this for me is different because I mean obviously she should just be like, oh, this is my leather armor and this is, you know, what what happens. So uh, my my armor is good for one turn, <laughs> which is crazy. Oh, and so then the goblin goes back into the into the deck. Huh. Mauricio is now out of action to take. You can now end her turn by clicking the pulsing arrow on the right-hand side of the screen. Yes. Oh, and I got other things in my hand. That's a surprise. Pit trap. You found a barrier. Barriers like monsters have checks to defeat. Okay. Um, unlike monsters, failing to defeat a barrier does not automatically cause damage to the character. So I've got crazy dexterity so we should be in good shape here uh, to ensure the Marissal can defeat this barrier discard the blessing of the gods to add additional dice to the check to the check to defeat okay one important thing to note is that you may only play one type of boon per check for example you may only play one blessing or check try playing multiple types of boons okay so this is my boon so we're going to go ahead, we're going to, there we go. We uh, discard this dice, discard, discard, and then, yes. Oh, yeah, no problem. Boom. 
part of the barrier's power, Mauricio may explore again after defeating. Let's have Mauricio explore again. Explore now. Caltrops. Uh, oh, this is something I found. Okay. Uh, Caltrops can help a character evade a monster if they don't fight it, don't want to fight it, or defeat it outright if the monster's difficulty is low enough. Okay, cool. Check to acquire Caltrops. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, yeah. I knew I was going to... Knew we were going to get that. It doesn't have anything else to do on our turn, so let's end it now. Alright. Hey! It's that goblin again. <laughs> that monster again. Alright. Banishing a card... Did I? Oh, what did I not do? Oh, uh, see. Oh, okay. Oh, we want to use the caltrops. See, I I missed what it told me to do. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna banish this. What am I doing? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, another blessing of the gods. We're going to explore some more. Ooh. Why do I have... Why do I have six things in my hand now? So we are going to... Discard. Oh, it's the Sandpoint Devil again. I have found the villain. Uh, use what you have learned previously to defeat it. So we're going to do our Blessing of Aerosil. Discard. And we're also going to use a short bow. Reveal. Oh, that is that is a lot of dice. That is, that is a crazy amount of dice. <laughs> I like that. Congratulations, you have finished this tutorial. In future tutorials, we will discuss locations and henchmen. Yeah, you, Troubadour, you right down here. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. The good old Sandpoint Devil. The victory. What do we have? I got some more gold. Yay. Anything else? Ooh, a treasure chest. Treasure chest contain rare cards, dice, and character equipment to open a chest by clicking the treasure chest icon in the store. Oh, let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to go back. And we're going to go to the store, because it's telling me I got a little thing. Treasure chest. I have one. I am not buying a treasure chest. <laughs> Enhancements. Okay, click the... I just clicked... I said one up here, so... Uh, let's go ahead and open it. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Click each card to reveal it or click the chest to reveal them all. Now we want to do each one individually, of course. A frost sling. Okay. A smith. Or... Oh, okay. We can zoom in. Uh, recharge this a smith. Uh, da -da, human blacksmith. He's an ally. Recharge this card to add one D10 to your check to acquire armor. Okay. All right, cool. Frost sling, sling range bludgeoning magic. All right, cool, cool. Ooh, a wayfinder. Recharge this card to examine the top card of your location deck. Hmm. S Sagacity. It's a spell. Powers. Display this card next to your character while displayed. Add three to that character's wisdom checks at the end of the turn. If you do not have either arcane or divine skill, banish this card. Otherwise, attempt an arcane or divine eight check. If you succeed, recharge this card. If you fail, discard it. Cool. All right. Well, there we go. That's awesome. And let's look under here under enhancements. So it wants me to 
Okay, so I forgot only I only have 200 coins, so I can't Yeah, I can't do anything yet. Cards. Hmm. Oh, oh geez, this stuff is all like so, but yeah, it looks like I will be able to buy cards as well. All right. And let's look under characters here while we're at it. Ah, see, these are the, these are all of the different, um, all of our different uh, iconics. So shadow, here we go, Mauricio. This is the one we're we're learning. Uh, survivalist Amiri. Amiri is the one who I'm looking forward to, to she's the barbarian this is always she was always my character so very cool i'm looking forward to looking forward to unlocking her but there we go ladies and gentlemen thank you very much as always appreciate you guys uh leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you have not but as always peace